Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we talk about an iPhone and what can you do in case when the screen is flickering for whatever reason you see a glitchy screen, what are some things you can do about it? Well, in that case, as I said, there are many different causes for this, so it's not possible for me to know exactly what's happening, but I'm going to give you some tips regardless. First of all, the most basic tip ever is to restart the device, because this is likely always going to help in case it's not something too serious, of course, uh, because restarting the iPhone just resets the OS and uh, yeah, this can make it work. On the iPhone with the notch, of course, just hold down the power button as well as the volume down button and slide the slider. On an iPhone with the home button, you're going to have to hold down on the power button as well as the home button at the same time to restart it. So that's how you can do it and you can just start fresh to see if anything has changed. Then the next thing which you can do is to try and see if you physically can connect the motherboard and the cables inside. Well, there's the thing. In case something is flickering, chances are that the screen, you know, the actual connection to the screen is not properly connected, to put it this way. So what I've seen people doing is that simply pressing the screen tighter onto the rest of the phone, onto the panel. So you are supposed to just like put it, click it a bit more, perhaps lock the screen so you don't press anything accidentally. And that's how you can make sure if it does work, like just press it a bit more in the upper right side, preferably, because there is where the connection is happening usually. So that's what you can do to like press it on to see if you can re-enable the connection there. By the way, guys, make sure to join my 100% free education platform. I just finished the Rush course video editing. You can go ahead and check it out in the classroom section, 100% free. Go ahead and check it out. No interruptions. Link is going to be down below in the description. Okay, then what you can do is to go to the settings and whenever something is going on with the software, it's always a good idea to update the latest version of software. So yeah, always just go to the settings and check out if there is any software update available. This is of course one of the more basic things you can do, but updating the software can never go wrong, especially with iPhones where every single update is kind of needed and it fixes bugs and glitches, so chances are that uh, this can help as well. What also could be the problem is that you don't really have a glitchy or buggy screen. It's not really flickering for that reason. But what could go wrong is that you have some color filters enabled and perhaps you don't even realize it. So in the settings, in the accessibility, what you have to do is to go to the display section. So you should be able to find it somewhere around in here, display and text size, and there are some color filters available. So you can enable it and see the colors as they are. So in case you have it something like this, you perhaps may see some problems, of course, with the colors and stuff. So just go to this section, delete or remove, turn off the color filters, and this should get your iPhone back to this state. So that's how it works. This is what I wanted to tell you about in this video. I really hope that you found it useful and informative. For more content and videos similar to this one, don't hesitate with subscribing to the YouTube channel and we can see each other later on in the future. Peace out until then.